Jacques Herzog and Pierre de Muron are Swiss architects, founders of the architecture firm Herzog and de Muron. The firm is known for some of the biggest infrastructure projects in the world, such as the Ebb Philharmonie, a concert hall located in Hamburg, Tate Modern, an art gallery located in London, as well as the Beijing National Stadium, used for the Summer Olympics in 2008. The duo graduated from the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in 1975 and the firm was founded in 1978. Since then, the firm had excelled in the designs of stadiums, galleries and museums and had won the Pritzker Architecture Prize in 2001, one of the highest prizes in the architectural industry awarded to only the top architects in the world. With what is known as the Nobel Prize of Architecture. They were praised by J. Carter Brown, a juror for the award for many years for the imaginative use of exterior materials and treatments such as silkscreen glass and bricks in the Tate Modern. Alongside their material choices, another prominent characteristic is in their style, or rather their non-committal approach to style, which is shown in the varying designs in the projects they have developed over the years. We very much treat every project very specifically at that project, for this site, for this program, for this client. And um, that's what's driving us, that's what's interesting for us. We don't have any preconceived ideas and we don't have any style. We don't like organic over rectangular, simple over very um, eclectic. We, we, we embark on a journey and that, that journey is custom tailored to the program, to the location, to the community, to the people, to the client. Initially, the designs would mostly be revolving around modernity in architecture and could be called minimalistic. This can be seen in the design of the Tate Modern. It manages to create an eye-catching exterior without using overly complex shapes and looks sleek with the addition of glass. It is a building that expresses form following function. It is a huge difference compared to the design choices with one of their most famous projects, the Beijing National Stadium, completed in 2008. It employs an abundance of sweeping curved shapes to create a complex and weaving form that easily attracts the viewer's eye. Rather than style, it is their methodology to design a structure based on its own terms that allows them to be distinguished architects. What this means is that they are able to conceptualize a design without the influence or attachment of a style. In this way, it allows the design to address the phenomenology of architecture. Everybody may ask himself or herself why this form, and which is something between a very rational form and a very irrational form, or pyramidal shape. And it's to do with um, the geometries given there of the land parcel, but also angles that would lead people into the building, opening up, reclining, or bending over. So very archaic, almost sculptural um, impulses, which have a very clear and very rational um, basis. The idea is that walking or moving through the building itself is an interesting experience. Every connection from one floor to the, to the other is a different one. Among the successes, they have also experienced the first share of failures and backlash. As usual, it is not uncommon for projects to be massively over budget and overdue, such as the case with the F Philharmonie Concert Hall being 7 years overdue and 10 times over budget with a total cost of 789 million euros. Now 7 years behind schedule, it's finally opened and a concert launched what's been called Germany's most important cultural project. A much more unnerving incident involved the poor working conditions of migrants at the Beijing National Stadium. When interviewed on the topic by the Spiegel, they callously replied, it is not within our power to change the conditions for migrant workers, nor is it our responsibility. Overall, despite these failures, it is usually the spectacular cultural projects that they have designed over the years that are brought to the front of the public's mind when the name Herzog and the Muon are mentioned. Requests for the expertise continue to rise with the fame and with the intentions to continue the practice of architecture for the foreseeable future, 
It can be expected that we will see results from the future projects such as the museum in Doha and the Baranka Museum of Modern and Contemporary Art.